Finally tonight, while the meteorologists are watching the sky for signs of snow, some other scientists are setting their sights higher, and Charles Crawford reports they're on the lookout for Halley's, we'd rather say Halley's, comet. It's heading for a regular rendezvous with Earth. This is a comet that uh, has quite a halo on it, and uh, we're seeing the central portion of that. The rediscovery of Halley's Comet. Ed Danielson and fellow astronomers at Caltech say the newspaper headlines were more exciting than the night of October 16, 1982, when they spotted the comet for the first time since 1910. The end of the search for the celestial visitor came at the Palomar Observatory in California. Using the 200-inch mirror telescope, a highly sensitive electronic eye recorded light 50 million times fainter than the human eye can see. The million-dollar charged couple device can store 640,000 bits of information and was able to detect Halley's Comet when it was a billion miles from Earth. Halley is now just beyond Jupiter on its way around the sun and should be visible in March of 1986. Through the ages, comets, from the Greek word meaning hairy stars, have frightened millions of people and even changed the course of history by battles won or lost because of what was considered an evil omen. Even today, there remains some uncertainty over the possibility of a close encounter with Halley's Comet. What happens when a comet approaches the sun, it builds a cometary tail. And as the material comes off of the comet and builds its tail, it, it can become a million miles long. And then that allows you to have, have a bigger target. And so you, the chances of going through the tail are, are very high, and in the, in, in the, in the, in the past, it, it has done that, and that's what scared them and so forth. Unfortunately, says Danielson, when Halley is closest to the Earth, it will be on the other side of the sun and not visible. Nevertheless, scientists are hopeful of learning a good deal more about an old visitor to our solar system. Charles Crawford, CNN, Pasadena. I still say Halley's. <laughs>